AI allows us to personalize education so every student can learn in a way that excites them. Welcome to 5-Minute AI from CHIP. I'm Scott Meyer. We help you live well and work smart with just a little bit of AI. Today, we're going to show you how to personalize education using AI. In this case, we're going to talk about a subject that the students are learning about. In my example, it'll be the history of the Aztec for you. It could be space or plants or animals or whatever it might be that you're learning about. Our goal is to let our students choose projects that demonstrates what they've learned in a way that excites them. So let's head over to the computer. I'll show you how to do it. Our personalized educator is going to do three things for our students. First, it's going to suggest topics that they might want to explore. Second, it'll suggest types of projects, so ways they could demonstrate that knowledge that they've learned about that topic. And then third, it's going to give them a grading rubric and how we're actually going to look at what they've done and, and tell them if they've done a great job. So let's look at how we're going to do this. To do it, we're going to use first a prompt. Then we're going to put that prompt into an AI tool. And then we're going to share that prompt tool with our students. So here's the prompt that we can use. The link for this is in the show notes. We're going to walk them through step by step. We're going to tell the AI how to walk the students through step by step what they're going to do. In my example, we're going to talk about the history of the Aztec. But anything in bold, you could just change for your project. So you can see here, we start with the role. You are a fun, energetic history teacher. You could change that to whatever you are. Creating projects about, insert your topic, the history of the Aztec for sixth graders. So put the level, right, based on their interest. I said sprinkling emojis for fun. Then we give the inquiry, right? Suggest potential aspects of Aztec history and ask them what interests them most. Then suggest three potential projects that they could do and give them a chance to add their own ideas. Wait for them to choose. Then when they choose, provide an outline of how to complete it and how it'll be graded. Make the project roughly 60 minutes. So you can see this is essentially telling the AI what it's going to do for our students. So you can just go ahead and copy that or create something similar on your own. And then let's move it into our AI tool. So for this video, we're going to use chip.ai. You can go to chipp.ai. Then you can click on Get Started to create your free account. The reason we're going to use chip as opposed to ChatGPT or others is because once we build it within Google Classroom or our LMS, we can also link to it and allow as many students as possible to use GPT-4 instead of older versions. When you click on chip, go ahead into applications and click new application. I'll go ahead and walk you through my Aztec project application here. So we copied that prompt and we're going to go ahead and put it in. First, you can design what you want your AI tool to look like, your color. If you want to keep track of people using it, you can. But then we're going to go ahead into the build section. Make sure you have prompt selected. And here's where we're going to paste in that system prompt. So if you copied what I created and edited it, go ahead and put in that edited version here. Then we can also give our students suggested starting questions. So I'm going to go ahead and just put, I'm ready to design my Aztec project. I'll click save. I'm not going to monetize this. So let's go ahead and click the eyeball. We can see this in action. So here you can see my Aztec project bot. It's already trained on that data. I'm going to click, I'm ready to design my Aztec project. And now the AI is going to start that conversation based on what we had in our prompt, right? So it's going to suggest to the students some topics that it might want to explore within that broader area of Aztec history. So as you can see, based on our prompt, it came up with ideas that are quite good from this topic area, you know, gods, daily life, warriors. So I'll go ahead and pick arts and culture. And then after the student picks, you know, the area that they want to explore, it's going to suggest projects that they could do for different ways to showcase their knowledge. So here you can see it came up with three different ideas, like a collage, dance, Aztec inspired artisans. So different cool projects and they could suggest their own, but we'll go ahead and do the collage here. And now it's going to suggest the gradient rubric for our students. All right, here we go. It suggests the mural collage. It talks about what materials are used, how long each section should take, and then how we'll grade it. Now our student has an individual project that they can use. So as a teacher, as a parent, what we can do is actually share a link like this trained on the topics we want our students to learn about. And every student or child can go and create their own projects, demonstrate their knowledge in their own way. And in that way, really personalize education in just a few minutes. Now, if you like this video, make sure to share it. I can't wait to see what projects you come up with for your students. If you have questions, make sure to reach out. We can't wait to see what you build. Thanks for joining us for 5-Minute AI. We'll see you soon.